Bima Afya is a mobile micro health insurance product for the low income population and the informal sector. Tanzania has a population of around 50 million people. Out of these 50 million people, only 4.5% have health insurance and they get it through their employers. They are people from the formal sector. So the remaining percent, which is about 96%, do not have any health insurance. We put away 19%, which is the population that can afford the health um, covers from out of pocket. They are the middle income population. And then we have the remaining 75.5%, which is the informal sector and low income population. This is the population that does not have um, insurance options, health insurance option at the moment. So we decided to create a solution for this population specifically. What we did is we enabled the, the, the low income population person to buy um, health insurance from a mobile phone through a USSD number. So we have about four options, um, a one month cover, three month cover, a six month cover and a one year cover. And the lowest cover costs around 2,700 Tanzanian shillings. As you know, in Tanzania, uh, mobile phone penetration is quite high. Almost 72% penetration is there. So, the presumption is, mobile phone is almost with everybody, once in a house, with the one people. So that's why we came up with the concept that if we provide health over mobile phone on USSD, it can reach almost every people. We intend to make um, the informal sector and the low income um, population of the African population um, have access to health insurance that is designed 100% for them and accommodates their flexible incomes to improve the lives of Africans through technology. And in this case, it's giving them access to affordable health insurance. There are a lot of problems we are trying to alleviate. One of the major is that people don't get to sell their asset just to get a service of health. So once people is not, I mean, is not going to sell their asset, it means they can survive the way the way they are surviving. But they will get the benefit. Their life lifespan will increase because sickness uh, in Tanzania, if you go with uh, government statistics. Sickness or malaria or other cause cause a lot of death. It's not just sickness which is causing death. It's that the service is not able to reach those people that is causing death. Bima Afia is trying to tell the people who earn a little amount of money per day, per week, per month, whenever, whatever amount they earn, that they don't have to have an ideology of having a lot of money in order to, to get a better health. As less as you can, it's enough for you to have a better health plan. 19% of people is the one who is enjoying health insurance right now. So you can imagine if 81% come into the picture, how the insurance landscape will change. It will change at least 500% times. In the next five years, the insurance company or insurance company will generate at least three to 400% more revenue what they are doing right now. We would have loved to be in London right now, but unfortunately our visa applications were denied twice. They do not believe that we are going to come back after we come to London. So it was difficult for us to prove that we are going to come back. But in a way, um, I think it's, it does not make sense because if we are invited by a company, by you know, a boot camp, they should have trusted that there is no way that we would you know, find a way to, to stay in London. We have no reason to stay in London. We have a business running in Tanzania. But I think what could be done to um, make sure this doesn't happen is you know, having someone from, from sitting from the UK side communicate to the embassy and you know, make them aware that they, this application is going to come and it's uh, from you know, an event or um, an activity that we would be responsible for these people and they will be coming back after they finish their involvement with us here in UK. To the investors and mentors at the Startup Bootcamp, um, we are really sad that we were not able to get the, the best and the most out of you this time, but we are looking forward to getting all the experience, skills and access to investors and facilities that we can get from the Bootcamp next year. So please have us with you next year.